What's up, Scorpio? Sandra from For Your Tea. This is your November of 2023 reading. Thanks for being here with me in November. Well, what is happening? As usual, first six houses here on YouTube. Remainder is in the link below in the description box. Okay, base chakra. You're going through the motions, but you're not having any fun the first couple of days of November. Now, it's possible that you could be feeling a little low energy, lethargic, or under the weather. Forgiveness, okay? Some of you are harboring unforgiveness or anger or resentment towards someone. I hear you. But it's going to be important to let that go because you need to fix this. And for some of you, you actually may need to clear out that base chakra. How do you do that? Take a sea salt bath if you can. If you're not able to, you can do one of those chakra meditations on youtube make sure you pick one that you like that feels good for you now what is the this is creeping me out you've got the death card in your house of stuff and money is there something changing about your money ask yourself now the advice card is very relevant listen to your intuition if your intuition has been telling you to put money away to save money, to move money, to make a purchase, to not make a purchase. It is going to be, it's going to be different for all of you, but it's going to be important to listen. Now I pulled an Archangel Michael card in here to give us some more information. Use your imagination and you will see the answer. That is the same essentially as use, listen to your in intuition. Because using your imagination always involves uh, mental imagery, meditation, things like that. All right? Make sure you're saying your money affirmations. Make sure you're doing all of your practices that you would normally do to keep the abundance flowing. All right? Your third house brother or sister, anyone that you could um, consider a brother or sister, they will have a victory, but it will not be in the month of November. They have to keep going. They know that the the big happy changes are coming. So this is why they are going to keep, go keep going forward. Okay. It's not time to quit. Tell them. Your fourth house. House of home where you currently live. Well, there's a victory here. Okay. I like that. You're going to get your wish here with your home or you're going to get your wish with somebody that you live with. Now, for some of you, this is going to be someone that you have wanted to come visit you. And you need to communicate clearly. It's time to stop beating around the bush. Communicate clearly with what you want here, Scorpio. And so it is. Your fifth house, house of social life, fun, friends. This is your dating life if you're a single Scorpio. Wisdom. This is a teacher, a friend, a mentor could be coming through one of your friends here. Or the universe could be teaching you a lesson about friendships. Or there could be some sort of dating relationship that comes to you that ends up teaching you something that you need to know. There is a yes here. So whatever this lesson is, you must go through with it. Okay? You must see it through to the end, they're saying. Your sixth house, awareness. This is work and health. Don't forget, work and health is the sixth house. This says that you already need, you already know what to do, but you haven't done it yet with regard to work. For some of you, this is going to be. Hi, dog. For some of you, this is going to be. Um, you've been thinking that you needed to or wanted to put your resume out there or ask for a different position, or to be moved, something like this, a promotion, okay? Um, for others of you, you know, this is going to be starting a new health regimen, or changing something in your diet, or changing a doctor, or perhaps seeking alternative medical advice, if it, your current um, doctor situation is not working. Well, they're saying there's no need to worry, but you know, 
the Scorpio does have to follow through. Now, if it's any sign that's going to follow through with what they know they need to do, to do, it's going to be a Scorpio. So, um, if I were you, I wouldn't wait any longer, though. That's the only thing. All right, let's go to your um, tarot cards of who's around you in your seventh house of primary relationships. So we have the Justice card here, so that's a Libra. Is a Scorpio out there with a Libra? I don't know, but uh, well, you got you got triple Libra because we have two other air cards here. So triple Libra with a side of Gemini and of course the typical uh, Aquarius stalker is here. Sorry about that. It's a weird, it's a weird mix of signs for Scorpio, if you ask me. Like, where's the earth sign? Huh? Where's the water? Where's the fire? Really? It's only air? How weird is that? We'll have to see what plays out in the next many moons from now. I can't imagine that that's going to stick around very long. Air signs change their minds so much. They're so flighty, right? Okay, if you want to follow me in the extended, it's below. We're going to be going over houses 7 through 12. Seventh house, as you know, is your relationship house and house of business partnerships. Your eighth house of taxes, contracts, legal matters, the source of your significant other's income. Um, if that applies, your ninth house of school and travel, your tenth house of career and your mother. Your 11th house of your child or your best friend, your 12th house, what's about to happen three months from now in February. Many blessings to you all. Take care.